Portland is celebrating St. Patrick's Day in a new way this year. It's hosting an event in a new building in the Leisure and Entertainment District, closing off streets and ending the night with a big concert. Yeah, it's the first event in the new LED, which allows events and businesses in the district to sell alcohol. Brandon Schaff was there today to preview the Families on 5th celebration, and he's got that story for us tonight. Things are looking a little different in Portland now with the creation of the Leisure and Entertainment District. It allowed a building like this to be built to host events and serve alcohol in ways that weren't previously possible. It's also helping to revamp an area of the city that's been in decline. We're so happy this year to take it from our, um, we'll begin, you know, from our parking lot over here to this great event center. This 17,000 square foot event center is just the start of Portland's new Leisure and Entertainment District, or LED. It's the first event in the LED, which voters approved last May. This is just the city's investment right here in this, but really private enterprise is going to drive the, drive the next evolution of this area. Portland recently purchased a city block near Houston and 5th Streets to build the event center. It then partnered with Cass Real Estate to host Families on 5th, an expanded version of the annual St. Patrick's Day Mixer. It is something that we anticipate really driving activity, driving business to the area, and really helping spur growth. The event could triple in size to more than 1,000 people in the event center in Old Town. It will start with the mixer and end with music, a Roger Krieger concert. Alcohol will be available under a new Texas law. This gives an opportunity to allow some alcohol, um, but also to still keep things family friendly. Um, you know, it, it's not a bar, it's a family event. After two years of public input, these renderings show what the LED could one day look like. And that future starts tonight, appropriately with St. Patrick's Day. We come celebrate St. Patrick's Day in the only Texas county with the same name. Why would you do it anywhere else? Brandon Chef, 3 News. All right, so the mixer is already underway. It runs until 7. The concert then gets started right around 7.30.